YouTube, what's going on? Kyle back with ePool Supply. Today we are going to walk you through the new upgrade kit available by Paramount Pools for their pool ballet system and upgrading you to their newer style PV3 system. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. So again, today we're gonna to show you guys how to take your older pool valet style pop-up heads in your pool. And uh, as we all know, they have become discontinued. Um, if you get a cracked collar, if you're just looking to upgrade, the only option you have at this point is going to be upgrading to Paramount's newer version where they actually bring you to their latest version of pop-up head, the TV3. So really cool little package they have here. Um, really nifty that um, they'll give you the new collar as well as uh, the head with the three adjustments adjustable nozzles. Uh, we'll rip this open so you guys can see everything inside, but the older pool ballet system used to run off of a one hole or a two hole system based off of your pop-up head and the location of where it was in the pool. So typically your one holes were your lower flowing heads, so they would put those on your steps or your benches or you know in smaller areas where you had a group of heads, they would put a one hole. But uh, if you needed a, a higher power, they would put a two hole, which was considered a high flow head. So in the deep end, um, especially towards your drains, um, if they only had a couple of heads in your spa, most of the time those would be the two hole heads. So then that way you got plenty of pressure when that cycle kicked on to be able to do the cleaning power that it needed to. So that system, um, which I'll show a picture right here of what the old pool valet heads look like, um, they actually have a two part system where it's a head with a retainer ring. So the retainer ring actually would thread on into the collar, which is glued into the piping, which is ran completely underneath your pool system. So if for some reason you're looking to get rid of it, you guys want to move to a, a better cleaning power, which the PV3 is definitely a much better cleaning power than the older style. Um, or if you've got a cracked collar, just because they are older systems and over time the plastics do have a tendency to become frail. So if for some reason the collar got cracked, um, the only option that you have now at this point is to go for their retro kit. So let's tear this open and I'll show you guys how this works. So. I have the gray version. The glory about these retro kits is they actually come in every color that the PV3 does. So if for some reason you're tired of the white color that uh, typically a lot of people had with the pool valets, you can actually upgrade to a variety of different colors, especially if you're going to get your pool resurfaced or you're going to go through a different variety of things. Um, matching your pebble tech or even if you want to go with white on just there to match your plaster they give you that option which is really really cool I definitely like that they do that so they actually pack the PV3 in here separately um, which once you actually do this if you ever run into issues with the head itself and not the collar you are able to purchase just the PV3 so you don't actually have to get the entire retro kit again because you do not need that collar if your collars are still fine so Again, and down the line, if you want to change the color of the heads, you have that option. So here's our standard PV3. Um, that's the pop-up head. And then it actually comes with three different size nozzles. So I'll set these all out. And because you are doing a retro style, all of these do say retro jet on top, even though this is a PV3 head. So if you did buy the same style, um, PV3 caps, they will work with this pop-up head. So those will actually have the PV3 logo on top and not the retro jet logo on there. So really cool. Um, one way to determine where you're going to place these or which nozzle you're going to use um, is based off of a variety of things. How many heads do you have on each cycle? Um, which we'll have a whole video laid out for you guys on how to determine and how to actually count how many heads you have on each cycle in your pool. It's all done from the valve at your equipment, but in this case, we like to use the typical, there's a, there's a few little rhymes or reasons for it. So the larger hole that you have, which is right here, this is going to be your high flow. So depending on uh, how many heads you have in your deep end, again, like we discussed earlier, similar to the two hole, you'll want to replace it with the high flow. Um, if you've got a really small top step and it doesn't have much cleaning radius that you're looking for, you can tone down the pressure in it to the smallest nozzle, which will actually give 
more um, cleaning power to the rest of the heads in the system. So really important, if you don't have the original pool model on how they laid it out, you definitely want to follow these little uh, rules of thumb because it definitely will help your system clean better. So small for really small top steps, little benches, maybe uh, small spots in the spa, you'll want to use this tiny nozzle. Typically in the floor, when you're looking for the best cleaning power, the most push, you're going to go with the larger one. And then similar to the one hole on your steps and your benches, um, not ones closer to the surface of the water, but just smaller steps, you're going to go with that medium size. So then that way you're giving enough pressure to the rest of the system to make sure that they actually do the optimal cleaning that you're looking for. So aside from that, they give you this fancy collar. So the collar is going to be the exact same color as the head that you choose. So as I said, it comes in a variety of different colors. I have gray, they've got light gray, blue, um, whites. I believe they even have a black. Um, we'll actually put a full list of all of them in the, in the comments below, in the description below. So that way you guys can actually click on that and see everything. So they do give you instructions in the PV3 head here on how to adjust the nozzles. So if you accidentally install a nozzle that you don't want to use and you want to adjust it, they give you a way to do it. So I've got my handy dandy tool here that I'll actually guys, I'll, I'll kind of show you guys how to do that. But uh, let's continue on. So they give you instructions in here on how to replace those old pool valets and install this new collar. So you will need to remove all of the old equipment. So you need to pull out the head itself as well as the retainer ring, but you do not need to worry about the collar. So even if you had an old broken collar, you're actually going to cover up the, the broken part by using this new collar. It'll actually seal with the glue that you need to use. So then this way, this will get real flush with the bottom of your floor. So then that way you don't have to worry about trying to chip anything out and replace your entire equipment because that can be a very costly venture. So they'll actually walk you through all the steps, making sure that you take the old head out, cleaning out the hole, priming the collar, making sure they'll walk you through how to actually glue on the new collar. And uh, the cool thing is, is if you, uh, you, you don't need to drain your pool, we highly suggest that you do, just because it gives a better opportunity for the glue to adhere and not uh, have any uh, you know issues. But they do make underwater glue, which if you don't have the opportunity to drain your pool, or it's gonna be more of a costly venture for you, you can actually purchase an underwater glue and use this to do the exact same thing and glue it down in there. So again, we suggest that you do, just because it gives an opportunity for everything to dry and uh, seal up nice, but it's not necessary. So really cool, it's got the, the cap here, so you just pop the cap off, and now you just have your open collar here. I'll actually just install a nozzle. So really simple to install a nozzle. We'll have links below on our video on how to actually change these. We've got a full video to show you guys how to, to undo these and swap these based off of where you need them in your pool. So for now, I'll just set one. So envision this is now glued into the bottom. You're just going to set in the new head and it'll actually, using our handy dandy tool here, you'll actually just go in and it twists. And it can only go about a quarter turn. So you're not going to um, get a huge crank out of it. It's not like your old heads where it had that thread where you needed to keep spinning it. It's not the same thing. These are like a bayonet style head where it just has a quarter turn. So it's right to tighten and left to loosen. So once you turn it left there, you can actually take them out. Make sure you check these, uh, especially about once a year, I like to take mine out and uh, just double check that everything's clear to breathe so that everything works properly. And then you're just gonna remove the tool. So that mine perfectly lined up in there. There you go, remove it. And then yeah, you can adjust the nozzles as needed. Again, they'll show you guys how to do that. And we also have a link in the description to our other video that walks you guys through how to swap these out as well. So overall, if you're looking to upgrade your system from a pool valet, or you're just looking to uh, if, if you don't have the option to be able to completely redo your pool, this is going to be your next best bet. So again, check out all the links below. We'll show you guys all the variety of colors. Um, and we do have all these available at all times. So make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. I'm Kyle with the Pool Supply. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below. And we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.